everybody, Citrus Aviation here with a model view for you today. And today we are reviewing the Lufthansa A340-600 in 1 to 400 scale by Gemini Jets. So we're going to get into the model view by taking a look at the history of the airline, information on the aircraft, uh, so and then looking at the model and giving it a rating. So we're going to get started right away with the history of Lufthansa Airlines. We're going to go over the brief sort history of the airline. The airline was initially founded in 1933. Lufthansa means airline in German. So Luft means lift or air and Tansa means airline. So that's a fun fact for you. So you learn to the meaning of Lufthansa. So that is basically the airline of Germany and the airline was basically destroyed during the Second World War as that it was the national airline of the German Third Reich. The airline ceased operation officially in 1945 and did not resume operations again until the rebranding and reformation of the airline in 1954-55 time frame. The airline has since grown to be the largest airline in Germany and has been a very popular airline as it's expanded, grown, and been known for its excellent quality customer service and products over the years. The airline was rated as a five-star airline by Skytrex magazine in 2017. Now, of course, whether or not that's actually correct is up for debate, but I do like the airline overall. The new livery for Lufthansa that we are seeing here on this model was first introduced in February 2008 on a 747-8. Uh, Delta Dash Alpha Bravo Yankee Alpha, I believe it was, was the very first one to get the new livery. This aircraft is the very first A340-600 to get the new livery. It's Delta Dash Alpha India Hotel India. And this one first appeared in the new livery in August of 2018. Since then, there's now about three or so total in the new livery at the time of this recording. And this recording is being recorded early in 2020. So about April. So to give you guys some context. But Lufthansa is also planning to retire these aircraft, these A340s, as we'll get into with the aircraft information. Lufthansa's new livery has been very controversial to a lot of people, including myself. I have not been the biggest fan of it. However, the airline is, you know, the livery's all right, actually, if you as I've gotten used to it. It's a very white, very yellow white livery, but the shade of white that is, is actually quite a nice vibrant and bright white. It's got this deeper blue. It looks really elegant. Overall, it's an okay livery. Though I didn't like it for a long time because it's just another yellow white livery and we don't need more of those. But this one's okay. I still prefer the old livery, but this one's just fine. So this aircraft is Delta Das Alpha India Hotel India. It is an A340-642 operated by Lufthansa Airlines. Lufthansa operated a total of 23 aircraft in this configuration, the A340-642. They also operate A340-200s, 300s, and, but did not operate the 500. They had their very first A4600 delivered in 1999, and this one was one of the last ones they got. This aircraft was first flown on the 6th of February 2004, delivered to Lufthansa on the 27th of April 2004, and is serial number 563. Lufthansa has, as of late, started to retire the A4600s, and they will be retired within a couple of years. The airline has gone from having 23 aircraft in the A340s, 600s in their total fleet when they had the most, and they're now down to 17. And eventually, for the next few years, the rest of these A340s, 600s will be retired. The box design is very, very nice on this model, as it's the new special boxes that General Jets is doing for the Lufthansa new livery, where they are blue and silver. It's quite a nice combination, I think. And General Jets sometimes does these special box designs for their airlines like Southwest are those white boxes and some other things. I really like when Jerry Jess does different box art. I know some people get really bored of it. Overall, the Jerry Jess box is actually really well designed, but I do like the variation they add in. So next, we're going to take a look at the model. All right, so we're now going to take a look at the details of the model. And first off, we have the nose, 
which is pretty nicely detailed here. As you can see, it's a wide bar model, so I'm able to get in nice and close for y'all. You can see the carpet windows. Oh, let me just get in just a little closer so you can see the nose of the landing gear detail. You can see right there, there's a little thing where the taxiway and departure lights would be. You can see that sewn up there. And as we turn the model, let me just move the box here. If we turn the model, you can start seeing the side details. You can see this 8 through 40 molds, it's a little bit on the older side, it doesn't have quite as much details up front here. But you can see the Lufthansa logo, the revised crane, and you can see the Star Alliance logo, you can see a couple of PD, pedo tubes and city ports there. And I'm going to move it here, and then I'm just going to move the camera up just a little bit closer. And... Alright, so we are now back in focus. And you can see, the model looks absolutely gorgeous. Alright. So, you can see the nose gear detail. So on the, the nose gear, you can see there's a little bit of information. I believe that is the fleet number. And then you can see there is the new yellow Lufthansa um, interior logo there just beside the L1 door. And then you can see there it says A340 and then there is a city in Germany named there. You can see the main Lufthansa titles, the first class cabin, the business class cabin. You can see some more markings on the lower portion of the fuselage. You can see the L2 door, which is also used for boarding at many of the Lufthansa hubs. And then you can see the windward detail. You can see there's actually an issue here. You can see there's some paint fade. You can see the paint didn't quite get on there perfectly right. You can see it's a bit of grain. I'm not exactly sure if that's just an issue from the factory if that's something that's happened to my model over time. But either way, that's not good. See the inboard landing light detail. And then we have the inside of the engine details, which I'll show you guys right now. These engines do not spin. It's not a 1-200 scale model where that's a feature. All right. And then if we take a look at these engines. These are Rolls-Royce. Trend 556-61 engines. There are four of them on this aircraft. As you can see, there's the other engine. And if we head down the leading wing, we get to the winglet and the red navigation light. If we go back here, let me just adjust the focus real quick for you all. All right, you can see right there is some detail for the middle emergency door that's right over the wing. And then if we head down here, we can see more details of the aircraft. You can see the Wi-Fi box. There is a Wi-Fi box on the small, which is great. And then we can see the rest of the economy class cabin, the registration of the aircraft. And then we can see the final boarding door and then the new revised Lufthansa Crane logo. Let me just get that in focus for y'all. There we go. It's actually quite nice. I've actually come to like it over time. It's still not my favorite livery. I still like the old one better, but I think this new revised logo does look actually pretty decent. All right, so we're now on to the APU housing detail, which looks quite nice on this model. See the back of the wing and engine detail is also pretty good on this model. Joy just did a good job there. And then over here we have the details for the starboard side of the aircraft. You can see a main cargo container door there that you couldn't see on the other side because cargo container door is on the starboard side. See the, the R2 door, you can see on this side there isn't the fade. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that with the fade just being on one side where I had the paint fade, but that is going to be points deducted. You can see the engines are quite nicely detailed. 
and then going down to the winglet with the green navigation light. You can see the over the wing emergency door better here. You can see it's a bit smaller than the main ones. And then the rear cargo container door, the registration, and once again we have the tail. Alright, so now we're taking a look at the top side detail of the model. You can see the top windows, the Star Alliance logo, the L and R1 door. You can see an antenna up top there, the Lufthansa main titles. And moving down the fuselage with the L2 doors and the older wing detail. You can see the beacon light there and a Wi Fi dome, which is just drawn in there instead of being a raised separate piece. The older wing details are actually pretty decent, nothing too special, but it's pretty good. You can see the Wi Fi dome in the back. You can see a rear antenna here. You can see another antenna back here from the back, and then you can see the horizontal stabilizer and I want to show you this if you look right here you can see this little gray dot on both sides of the wing um, those are logo lights that light up the tail at night time if we take a look at the underside we have the nose gear this nose gear does roll you can see there's some underside details here like the cargo doors and a few other things you can see the anti-collision light right there you can see the knacker dots there appear to be three on this model, so I'm not so sure about that. There's also a press relief valve there, hold for a stand, gear doors, which are sewn in the closed position as the AC-40 closes its doors after dropping the landing gear. You can see the underside of the engine details are actually pretty decent. I mean, this mold is a bit on the old side, nothing too special, but it's actually pretty decent. That's the General Jets logo. And then we have the rear press relief valve, some more details and the underside of the APU and horizontal stabilizers. Now we will take a look at the scene configurations of this aircraft. There is one rosin for the AC-4600 seating configurations. These aircraft get used on very high priority routes, so this is a low density configuration with 281 total seats in four classes. So we first have first class, which is eight seats, rows 1 and 2 in a 1 to 1 configuration. That's the section right up front here. Next up, we have business class. There are 56 business class seats in a 2 to 2 configuration. Those are rows 3 through 7. That's uh, right here. The first class is right up here. Business is here. And then also business class has rows 10 through 15. So this whole section going all the way back here to the L2 emergency door. Premium economy is only 28 seats in a 232 configuration. Those are rows 26 to 29. So that's this section right up here um, until you get to emergency doors where you have the rest of the seating. 189 seats in a 232 configuration for the rest of economy class. Alright, if we get to finish up this view, I'll show you some of the features of the model. This model has rolling landing gear. Unfortunately, on this model, it does seem as if they all do actually roll. And also, this model does have tilting landing gear. I will lower this so you can see that feature a little bit better. Now, zoom in. So, here are the gears. And then, if I tilt the aircraft back, you can see all three bogies. All three sets tilt back real nicely. So that's a really nice detail feature. So to give my score, I will put this model on its stand. I mean, I'm using a Gemini Jets metal stand. These are actually the ones that they put on their 1200 models, but they're really the same that they do for the 1400 models, so it doesn't really make a difference. Alrighty, so there is the beautiful model itself. So we're now going to do I out of 40 test uh, where I rate them I give the models rating on mold accuracy paint and value and so I'm going to ex explain what my score is for this model as I do 360 so you can see here that this mold is actually pretty good it's uh, pretty accurate to the axle A340-600 and it has a decent level of detail 
The only issue that I have is right here with the one piece wing mold. I don't never really like that. As you can see, it doesn't look too great, but it's nothing too offensive. So I'll only take one point for that and give this a nine out of 10 for the mold. The accuracy is a same thing. I'll give it another nine out of 10. And then the paint, this paint is also really nice. It shows off the very nice cream and white of the new Latonsa Lewis. You can see that it's very nice and white. I really like that. And the only issue that I had was right here where my models had some paint fade on this side. But other than that, it's been very good as a models. I've had it for almost a year now. So the final one is value. And this is one that we got to talk about a little bit. So if you buy this model from a retailer, say Easy Toys with, that's where I got this one from, you'll probably pay about 40, about, yeah, about $42 for this model. You know what else they charge $42 for? An A330. If you want the Lufthansa A330, they also charged $42 for that. Now that's a sold out model now. This one's still available. I'm kind of wishing I got the A330 because I do need it, but... The fact is that this model, they charge the same price for this one as the A330. So that means that this one is actually quite the value proposition. So you get a lot of metal and a lot of a model for $42. So I have to give it quite a good value. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Yes, it's not a rare model yet. It's a pretty new one. But just considering just how much of a model you're going to get for that price, it's quite worth it. I think I gave nines all around, so. So the final verdict for this model, the Jerry Jets 1-400 scale Lufthansa A340-600 is a 36 out of 40, which is a solid recommendation by me. Very good model. Get to in the top echelon of models that I've scored. And then right before we go to the outro, I'll be showing you a nice little uh, Excel doc that I have of all the models that I have reviewed so far so you can compare the scores. This one is near the top. I think it's like third or fourth from the top. So yeah, this one did pretty good and it's a recommendation for me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe during the current situation. Thanks for watching and God bless you.